のりさんののりのりミュージックライフオーナーのアレックスさんです。When did you open this store?、Uh, this store opened in July of 2021, so for almost a year old. What is the meaning of、uh, uh, name of your store?、Uh, I travel a lot looking for records, and so, you know, hunting down records when the, the definition of safari is actually hunting animals, which I, not all about hunting animals, but I look at records as I'm hunting them, so record safari. So, you go to、uh, record stores in the US.、Uh, which city do you go to? I go to every city.、So、there's no city I don't go to. Do you drive there? Yep, drive from town to town, city to city, state to state, all over.、Uh, when you buy used records, how to decide it,、uh, which one to buy?、Uh, generally, just buy off of, based off of like, what I think people want.、Um, Always buying good condition and hard, hard to find. I also buy a lot of unique, unusual things, even if I don't think they're going to sell. It's just nice to have unusual things in the store.、Mm. Have you ever been to, in Japan? No, I was about to go to Japan in 2020. I had plans to go there, and then you know, the pandemic happened and wasn't able to go. But I'd like to go one day. I have lots of friends there. What would you like to do if you go to Japan? Uh, obviously, record stores, go to the stores, see what they have. But I mean, to be honest, just look at all the nature and see how it differs from the United States.、Uh, do you know any Japanese artists and you, do you like them? Yeah, tons of Japanese artists, from whether it's like rock or metal or city pop. Or,、uh, yeah, I like lots of Japanese music.、Uh, you go to Kochera every year. What do you do there?、Uh, I set up a Big pop up shop at Coachella. I mean, it looks like a real store、like、wood floors, wood walls, 30,000 records. And every year we sell records, air conditioned. And if you buy records, you don't have to walk around with them. We hold them for you. So it's a really big setup. You are in the movie uh, uh, Record Safari.、Uh, what kind of movie is that? Uh, it's just a documentary that follows me driving around the country, picking up records for that Coachella record store.、Um, yeah, about what it's like to be on the road. Also, you know, the travel aspect and trying to find food for my dietary restrictions and stuff like that.、Uh, can you recommend uh, uh, any records from this store?、Um, I pulled a couple.、Uh, right now, we have this、uh, 1968 stereo press of. Uh, this band called Golden Dawn.、Um, the album is called Power Plant, and it's just like a really great, amazing psychedelic rock record.、Um, I mean, a lot better than your average psychedelic rock record, and it's pretty obscure and hard to find.、Uh, I also have this Alice in Chains original promo copy,、um, which is pretty cool because it also comes with a little promo flat. Um, that was probably just given out to the record stores to like hang, you know, either hang or maybe put on the window or something. But there's a couple records we have in stock, but in the store we have roughly,、uh, must be 25,000 records in the store.、Uh, please tell me the opinion about a couple things.、Uh, what do you think about、uh, promotion record?、Uh, promo records are cool, yeah. I, I mean, Whether they're promo or stock copy, either way, I like, I like all records.、Uh, about the、uh, records from US, Japan, England, Germany,、uh, Holland,、uh, do you have any favorites?、Um, generally, I know like, a lot of times like, Japanese press records tend to sound better. Same with UK, a lot of times they say like, the mastering's better.、Um, I do like that some of Countries have laminate covers versus like the paper mat cover.、Um, but if I like a band a lot, I tend to try to get the press of where they're from. So if they were from Japan, I'd like to have a Japanese press. If they're from UK, I'd like to have a UK press. American, American press. But I'm cool with all, all countries. 
So if somebody is looking for uh, good sounding records, uh, do you have any suggestion? Um, I mean, I used to say like reissues didn't sound very good and try to go with the original, but nowadays reissues are kind of a lot better than they used to be. Even color vinyl, I used to always say stay away from color vinyl. Color vinyl's kind of come a long way in the last few years of sounding really, really great. Um, I guess it all just depends, like, because you know some of the reissues they remaster from the original audio to uh, or analog tapes, um, so the the reissues actually sound better than the reissue, the originals. I guess you just have to do your research per record um, on what press sounds the best. I go to lots of record stores in LA, but uh, I we really love your store. So thank you very much, Alex San. Yeah, thank, thanks for uh, talking to me and hope to see anyone watching this video here in the shop. Record Safari から戻ってきました。今回の収穫は Fat Chance。ビルラバンティとスティーブ・イートンがいたバンドです。この後、ビルラバンティはソロバムアルバムを出して2枚目が大ブレイクしますが、このアルバムでは他のボーカルもいるので、全曲歌ってるわけではないですがビル・ラバンティの AOR 系のサウンドよりはどちらかというとコーラスを聴かせたドゥービーみたいな曲があったりホーンセクションがあったりとしてとっても楽しいですこのアルバムレコードなんて見たことなかったんですがレコードサファリにはありましたでも日本はこのレコードが CD になってるんですよね多分世界でそんなの日本だけだと思いますそういう意味でも日本はすごいんですね続いてはなんと大竹一のロングバケーションこの人昔から好きなんですよねハッピーエンドの時は細野さんよりも好きでしたただなんかハッピーエンドの後にかなりマニアックな方向を行ってしまってなんかそれからはあんまり追っかけるのをやめましたがこのアルバムは素晴らしいと思いますでですねこのアルバム帯付きで多分初回ではないとは思うんですがかなり初期の番ですどなたかが日本から大切に持ってきたんだと思いますそしてこれも日本版マービン・ゲイの「What's Going On」これも帯付きですデトロイトミックスということでどんなのかなと思って聞いたらオリジナル版とは全然違いますもっとレアグルーブという感じでこれはですねバーミンゲイのファンの人にはぜひ聴いてもらいたいと思いますこのアルバムの「What's Going On」は詩の内容からして戦争反対の内容の歌だったのでモータンレコードとしてはリリースしたくないとだそうですがマービン・ゲイがこの曲が入っていないんだったら出さないそう強く反発してリリースが決定したそうです今思うとこの曲が入っていて本当に良かったと思いますレコードサファリに来たらぜひこのステーキハウスカムスカムシャシャカムオーシャンテに来てください日本は何でも食べ物が美味しいですがアメリカはステーキは美味しいと思います日本の神戸ビーフも美味しいですがやっぱりステーキといったらアメリカという気がしますお店に入っていきますステーキで有名なローリーズと同じステーキが少し安くここで食べれますと言ってもですね、一番高いので59ドル。Thank you. Fish and chips です。そしてステーキ。これは、えー、パンです、ね。クリームコーンいただきます
ロスにはいろんな人がいます危ねえよお願いします。